Hey everyone, it's the Amazing Fleck, and of course my lovely manager and cat companion, Lucy the Cat. Well, the weather's been breaking, the sun's been coming out, the temperature's been rising, and since the vaccinations have been rolling out, I have a number of different friends who are feeling more comfortable in having guests over. So this weekend, as you may or may not have known, just yesterday, I went to a friend's birthday party and performed fire for my first time in a long time for a wonderful, wonderful crowd of people who enjoyed what I was doing. And then just today, I was able to spend some time over a friend's house just right down the street. They have been very, very careful about being quarantined throughout the whole entire pandemic. And everyone who's over there today was fully vaccinated. And we all felt comfortable to sit around, enjoy some food without having to worry about our masks and respect each other's space at the same time. It was truly wonderful to feel like a human being again and just kind of spend some time with other human beings. I've been very careful about keeping physically distanced away from other people because I take care of someone who has a compromised immune system. And the last thing I want to do is to pass on a virus to someone else at all, much less someone that has a compromised immune system and much less someone else who I care about a lot, who's a friend of mine with a compromised immune system. I would just feel incredibly guilty if they got the virus because of me. So as a result, I've been very careful about keeping away from other people. I got both doses of my vaccination done. And I'm going to keep being careful about keeping my distance away from other people because a good analogy I heard is that these vaccinations are kind of like wearing a seatbelt when it comes to traffic accidents. Wearing a seatbelt is not going to stop you from getting into an accident, but it may help save your life and even someone else's life too. I mean, if you don't go flying through the car, you might not hit someone else and knock off their head. I don't know. Things happen. I'm not a scientist. I am not a physicist. I'm not a physics expert, but it does have a very high percentage of being effective. So I opted into taking it and so did all my friends I visited today and we had a wonderful time hanging out and none of us have tentacles growing out of our ears. We don't have a Bluetooth connection to any sort of 5G tower networks. And I don't feel any fundamental change to my DNA. Not that I'd be able to notice anything like that anyways. So overall, it was a wonderful weekend for me for a lot of reasons and I ended up sleeping a lot throughout the daytime. I've been burning the candle at both ends quite a bit lately, working these 16 hour shifts, working on my art, working on writing trying to read as much as I possibly can, and so on and so forth, just keeping very busy in my everyday life. And sometimes I forget what I do with my time throughout the day. I can pack so much to do in such a small amount of time that it can be overwhelming, and then I burn myself out and have to sleep for like 8 to 12 hours at a time. But apparently a couple weeks ago I ordered this product off the internets called Pore Cleanser by Pore Cleanser. It doesn't even have like a brand name, it just says Pore Cleanser on it with this little logo. Anyways, it seems to be this little machine that uses water and you pull it along your pores on your face and it has suction and it blows water on it and it's supposed to remove blackheads and stuff. I don't know, ever since I started this channel, I started with my Logitech Brio, which softened everything up and I looked so young and, and just soft focused like glamour shots from the 80s or something like that. And then I switched to this Canon EOS Rebel 2 SL2 camera and boy oh boy, I could see every little wrinkle in my face, every little pore, all that sort of stuff with this HD camera business. So I think as a result it made me a little more self-conscious in my appearance and made me want to pick up this product to help clean up the pores a little bit. So I can have a more polished, professional look for all you viewers back home. Yes. Anyways, I'm going to have to try that out maybe later tonight and then maybe do before and after photos of it or something like that and report back to y'all whenever I manage to actually do that. It's pretty strange living in this globalized consumer culture. It's incredibly convenient and way too easy to do it. Those companies and advertisers have gotten so good at targeting consumers, it's ridiculous. You can think about something you might want and then boom, it's on your feed on your favorite social media website or even just on the random advertisements that are on the internet thanks to websites like Google. But I swear, I have an ad blocker in place and they still find ways to get this information into my brain and convince me I need to buy stuff like this. I'm gonna give it a shot. Hopefully it's a good thing and hopefully it wasn't a waste of like 36 bucks after shipping. But hey, time will tell folks, time will tell. Yeah, what an exciting time to be alive. Things have just gotten so much different from when I was a child. Even just from five years ago, things have changed so much. And they're going to keep on changing, too, at a more rapid and rapid pace. It's going to be just mind-blowing. We're not going to know what even hit us. All the more reason to keep a level head. Make sure you take care of the ones you love, and they'll take care of you, too. And keep up with the new times, too. It's hard to keep up with all that new technology rolling out and all the current events and all the crazy that's going on in the world today. And it's easy to get anxious about it, too. So I guess I don't know what you should do. Maybe just hang on tight, keep the ones you love close, treat them well, 
be kind to people, but no matter what the future brings, I know it's very important to remember these things at the very least to never ever give up. Do your best, stay true to who you are, and be amazing. Thanks for watching everyone, good night.